Fisher, the director of the museum here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You could be more welcome. Beacon. No. Well, that's how I got to know Taos. That's what I, the first thing I knew about Taos was it's where you go to look for art or make art or find art or buy art or anything with it. So it's a pleasure to be here. We couldn't put it off any longer. That's where that's going. That seems to be the current. We couldn't put it off any longer, so here we are. Finally, it's here. Finally, opening day. Hallelujah for that, right? So how, did, how does it make you feel that it's finally happening? I, I think the payoff is just beginning for all that hard work from many, many people. And I hope the town and everybody here enjoys it. Yeah. And you? Um, I'm happy it's here. I'm happy it's up. I'm happy it's done. I can't wait to join in the fun like everybody else is going to be able to do tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, um, Dow, you're here for a special award today, is that right? Well, it's not a special award for me today. It's for a, a man named Morris Lowe, mm -hmm. but it's being given in the name of my dad, who was a premier artist here in Taos and uh, developed a certain uh, technique with my mother, Sammy, called Metal Mosaic, which Tupper still uh, pursues in a large degree. Uh, with glass also, but mosaic uh, meaning that something is either soldered or adhered, a smaller piece on a larger piece. My mother and father uh, brought us here in 1954 in a woody from Dallas, and my dad's works extend from Stanley Marcus, who's Neiman Marcus of Dallas in his private home, to Emperor Haile Selassie in his palace in Ethiopia. Well, it's really nice, finally, because he really was the biggest artist in Taos at one time at the stables. He sold two-thirds of the work at shows that were attended by Agri, Bistrom, uh, Stroh, all of them, you know, and my dad was so big. But he was a little wild, too, and not much of an investor, and uh, I'm not much of an investor either, you know. We're, we're not good at business, but we, we're blessed to be able to do art. and. Tupper has been working uh, all these years diligently, too. Oh, well, what I would say about my dad is that he was an absolutely, positively amazing artist. I have never seen any work like his since or before, and, and he was just amazing. So, Skip, tell me about this award you're getting today. The award um, is part of the um, Fall Arts Festival. I think Charlie Strong originally started out supporting these and it was to Distinguish Artist Award and they're named after prominent and past um, artists. And I was lucky enough, I'm really fortunate enough, to get the um, Virginia T. Romero Award, which for me is wonderful because I work in, in micaceous clay just like she did. And um, I'm really happy. This, it was actually a butt kicker because they came to me and um, Gina had said I, I should be considered for it. And so, yay Gina. And I got off my ass and started making pots. So I made about 18 pots starting in end of March. Uh -huh. Just working on weekends, the only time I have. So what's the process that you use to make them? These are, um, they're partially coiled, but now I start out with a lot of these with, um, I used to be use broken pots, round bottom broken pots, and lay a small slab on it, and then just start adding to it and building. Now I'm actually putting the larger slabs on, um, and then just let it dry for a while on the outside, then I can flip it over into a pookie, and then just start coiling. Mm -hmm. And all of the decoration on this is Woodland Plains style, the uh, cord wrapped uh, paddle. And I make various patterns with just like three or four paddles that I use. And I love the effect. All of the slips on them now are mica, uh, various colored micas that come from the Valle Vidal, that come from Pataka. I just go and where I find them, and oh, I love anything that sparkles. This poem was composed for Andrew Coleman and her woodblock print, The Winding Road. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Consider the house of impossible possibilities as if the belly of clouds could birth other blue houses, as if the acequia could flow upward to our... And could room. Carolyn Palmer please come? And Dan Hill. Um, Carolyn Palmer is Jean Foss's niece, and Dan Hill is 
the oldest son of the Lloyd report. And Angie. Come on up. And she grew up in near Chicago, Illinois. She's a graduate of the California College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland, California, a longtime resident of Taos, New Mexico. And if you're a hiker, I'm sure you've seen her um, hiking around. Her works have been included in many national jury shows, and she's been the recipient of several awards, most re recently a Purchase Award at the Harvard Museum in Taos. And I, on behalf of Jane Klaus and the Lloyd Hill, So this is the clay speaking to the creator. You always... <laughs> he likes me. <laughs> clay to creator, after the pottery of Skip Miller. You always find me. You say I glitter. You'd recognize me anywhere. You know me also by touch, you say, by feel. You lift me from my bed of earth, cupping your hands. I am dry. You decide. You take me to the water. Each spring, the water. And then you begin. <laughs> 